Steve Harris, NRC, and I'm at the Lossy LMT. I got this Bauhaus RC. This is the low center of gravity tray for the Lossy LMT. And we're going to put this in and see what it looks like. Before we put this in, I want to show you it comes with the battery strap, the tray, and they give you screws for mounting it. So everything's included. There's no instruction, so I guess it mounts in the same location. We'll see. There's the stock location. You can see how high the battery sits in there. And when we're done, we'll get a picture to see the difference. All right, first you're gonna have to take this off with the strap with the two screws on the side. You'll need an extra wrench on each side to hold it take that off to get access to the other screws underneath there it is pull that out Take the other screw out, take the strap out. Now it looks like we got to take these screws out here, one here and one on the other side. I should have used my moto tool but that would be really loud so I'm not using it boy these are long I think you may have to put them back so put them aside I'm winging this because there's no instructions I'm just guessing here right now Seems like the only way to get this battery tray out. Watch your wires. There it is. Flips up. Save these screws. Now, you got to take... Let me try to flip this up and show you. A screw here, you got to take that out. There's a nut behind it in the tray. There's two of them, one on the other side. So I'm guessing you put them back on. Let's take them out really quick. Right there. Let me get the other side. A lower battery should make this work much better. There you have it. There's the two nuts in here. You're probably going to need those. Take them out, put them aside. All right, now let's get this. Get a scissor over here. Get open this beauty. This is aluminum, it's pretty nice, I'm going to 
to see how this goes really quick. It looks like from the looks of it, right like that, one screw's going to go into the header to hold it on. And then the nut and bolt we took off is going to go right in this hole here. That's where it's going to go. Here's the included screws. I'll have to figure out where they go. It looks like these screws and these nuts, they mount through this hole right here. And then these longer hex screws with the big sticking out head like this. You got to screw them into here, into the fake exhaust, but you got to take the screw out of the exhaust first. So let's do that now. See if this is the size. That's it. Take them out. get this strap they included and put it in here I guess you stick it in like this just like that that should be good now we put this back in position in here. These line up with this last header in the front over here towards the motor. And you screw them in. With these. Just like that. I'm not going to tighten them up all the way because I want to put everything in first. So leave them loose. Do the other side here. All right, next you want to get your button head screws with the nuts you saved from your tray. And you want to put them through. And they'll come out this side here on the top, this hole. Right there. The fourth one in towards the back. You want to put them in from the inside so you don't hit your battery with the nut sticking out. Just like that start threading on a nut and you go do the same to the other side may have to wiggle the tray a little bit get your nut put it on the other side Alright, now you get like a Tamiya T-Wrench, fits nice. You hold that, the Allen tool, and just turn your T-Wrench and tighten them up. There you go, do the other one. There we go. Now 
as we left these loose so we could adjust everything, tighten them up now. I guess they don't have to be real tight, just bottom them out. You don't want to strip them. There we go. And that's it. Let's see how it looks with a battery in there. I got a 2S right here. There we go. I put the battery strap in backwards, so I'm going to have to put it in from here. Luckily, you could get to this pretty easy. I think you're going to want a bigger battery strap. You use 3S because it looks pretty small. Let's see. Eh, might be good enough. I'll try my 2S right now. I guess it'll work. That's it. There she is. Much lower than stock. That should work awesome. Let's take a look at it from the side with and without the battery in it and compare it to the first picture I have. Well, there you have it, guys. That's how you install the Bauhaus RC lossy low center of gravity battery tray. It looks really good. It's built really strong. It goes in easy, and it lowers the battery really low. It's probably going to work much better. I'm going to have to get out and try it. Everything went together smoothly, as you've seen, other than I made the mistake and I put the battery strap in backwards, but that's me. <laughs> I was a dummy. Anyhow guys, I'll leave the link for this below in my video description, and if you want one, you can pick one up. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it as always. Please hit that bell for future videos and leave me a thumbs up. A comment would be nice. And I'll see you next time. Shen RC out. Beauty.